So we have a 20-month campaign. It seems as though it's, it's reaching a, a very powerful finale, very much like an opera. To me, it reminds me of the final, the final act of God or Dameron. Uh, you have these gods in Valhalla sort of setting the stage for the action. In this picture, you can have Reagan and uh, Newt Gingrich and George W. Bush, each uh, symbolizing a wave, uh, various waves that have come washing over American polity for the last 20, 28 years. And then came the October surprise, or the September surprise, of the stock market crashing, which is not good for any party in power. What do we see when they look down? They, they're looking at the sad events of 2008, and lo and behold, here's Brunhilde, who is capturing the magic ring of power. She looks a little bit like Sarah Palin. She not only obtains the magic ring, but she also now tells the story of the evil Hagen, who has plotted against her beloved Siegfried. And uh, it's going to be her job to inform us about Hagen. So here he is, Siegfried, on top of the funeral pyre. Now, the funeral pyre is made up of GOP attack ads, the case that's made for why we ought to be frightened of the enemies of Siegfried. We have also a few stock certificates in there. And now she arrives, Brunhilde takes the magic hockey stick and torches the pyre, leaps into the blaze. The world's oceans of debt rise and <laughs> engulf the couple and everything else, including the gods, and up pops her little hand, freeing the ring once again. It is the god of Dameron. The Twilight of the Gods. Now, I, I didn't draw any fat lady singing. 